everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm Premium Box, and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got in here. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. We actually got some products that lightly fill up the box. I feel like they need to make the premium boxes a little bit smaller. From what I'm seeing, I see some good stuff this month. I actually have to tell you guys that this is the first month in months that I'm actually like really happy. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my choice item. This is the Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Balm, a cleansing butter infused with green tea and cherry blossom extract to melt away makeup and impurities while keeping the skin feeling soft and supple instead of greasy and dry. And it retails for $35. I love the Wishful packaging, it's so pretty. I'm happy to see this, it is literally packed to the top with product. I'm just gonna try a little bit. It has a nice fluffy texture to it. I don't have any makeup on right now to test it out, but as you rub it into your skin, it feels like it turns a little bit more oily instead of being like a little bit thick when you first take it out. It feels really hydrating and nice. I'm sure this will take your makeup off really nicely and I cannot wait to try it. I'm really happy I got this. I love cleansing mops, but you know, some are better than others. I can't wait to give this a shot and I will update you guys. Maybe I'll do a separate video trying this out. The next product that I chose for my choice item is by Kosas and this is one of their brow gels. It's the Air Brow Clear Lifting Treatment Gel. A clean longwear clear brow gel boosted by hair care actives that fluff, lift, and sets brows for an all day illumination effect while helping brows reach their full growth potential and it retails for $22. I haven't personally tried any of Kosas's brow gels and they had the tinted ones on there, but I have been going through these clear brow gels very quickly lately and I've been absolutely loving them. And I like that the clear one has the lamination effect. I am going to hold off. I'm gonna use these products with you guys today, but I'm gonna hold off on this one because I see the next product is a face mask. This is by Juice Beauty and this is the Bamboo Pore Refining Mask, clear and hydrating your skin at the same time with this pore refining mask help protect against mask knee with bamboo charcoal and kaolin clay to help detox aspen bark to help smooth and hydrate and exfoliating polyhydroxy acids for a smoother softer complexion and it retails for $36 that's what the packaging looks like I see on here you're supposed to leave it on for one to two minutes wow that is a quick mask and then use twice weekly I also see a very short list of ingredients. They look like nice ingredients. Oh, there's more on the bottom of the box. Well, that's a little bit misleading. <laughs> ingredients look pretty good overall though. And we're gonna go ahead and apply this to my face and try it out. I feel like a lot of people don't try out some of the skincare or the face masks. So we're gonna give it a go today. Hopefully this is nice. I showered a little while ago. My skin is nice and clean. I just washed my hands as well. What I love though for applying masks is those silicone mask brushes. They're so handy and make things so much easier. You can use our fingers too. It doesn't smell like much to be completely honest. I have been getting a mask knee from wearing my mask a lot more lately, trying to stay safe and not get sick. And that has been a problem with me around my chin especially. Sometimes I get them on my mustache line now or even on the bridge of my nose, which never happens, but it's from the mask rubbing or even like right here where the mask attaches to the string. I'm hoping this will help with that. I don't use too, too much product. We're gonna let this sit for a minute and then I'm gonna wash it off and check back with you guys and I will let you guys know how my skin's feeling. I just got back from washing this off of my face. I left it on for a whole two minutes. I will say shortly after I put it on, about a minute after I put it on, I started feeling a little bit of burning and then my alarm went off with two minutes to take it off and I will say guys you do not want to leave this mask on for long because you could burn your face. I don't know but my face started burning. Maybe it could have just been my skin 
reacting to it. But my skin feels really soft after washing it off. Honestly, I don't see too much of a difference with my pores, to be completely honest. I'm not really too mattified on my face. I'm still a little bit shiny. I don't really know how much it did. It definitely feels like my skin is a little bit hydrated though. This, I'm gonna have to say, it seems like a nice product, but I'm gonna have to use it more to give a full review on this. Now that we've got this on, I'm gonna go back in with this brow gel by Kosas, and we're gonna try this out. When you pull this out of the tube, the brush, it doesn't take too, too much product off of it. Then again, at the same time, I feel like there's not too much product on the brush. When I'm applying this, it doesn't feel like wet. Some brow gels feel wet when you apply them. I'm not feeling the wetness. The moisture from the product, strange. And then I'm just gonna let this sit and then I will touch it after and see, I will say going in, it does feel a little bit dry. Even pressing onto my skin a little bit harder, I'm not feeling the product. Did any of you guys have any issues with this? It's almost like the bristles are like too long that not getting any product. Right, so I'm touching this brow. I'm not feeling anything really on my brow. Maybe just a tiny bit of product. My brows feel very soft. They feel like just my natural brows. It doesn't feel like I have brow gel on, to be completely honest. What I've been really liking lately is the brow gels that get a little bit stiffer, so that way they actually hold your brows in place throughout the day. But this one, I don't feel like it's doing that. Unless the clear brow gel is designated just to be like a treatment product. It says it's a clear lifting treatment gel for all day lamination effect. I'm not getting a lamination effect at all. I feel like my brows are just, they're drooping down. Down, they're not staying up. I don't know guys, I wanna love it, but I don't think it's working. If you guys have tried this, please let me know your thoughts. The next product we've got in here is by Liss Beauty. This is the Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. This daily serum primer helps balance and brighten the skin while controlling the appearance of excess shine throughout the day for a seamless complexion with or without makeup. It's packed with skincare ingredients for guilt-free beauty that feels as good as it looks and it retails for $20. I also like that Liss Beauty, I believe, is Clean Beauty. This has 5% niacinamide and AHA and it's supposed to be pore and shine control. I will say I do have primers as one of my last things on my list, but because of these skincare benefits, I'm happy to receive this and I can't wait to try it. Only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I just applied my face mask, which probably had AHAs in it and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on my hand. I like the packaging though. It's a triangle, like their other products. Very different from any other primer shape-wise, which is really cool. Well, the primer is just a clear gel. It's very thin. It's almost like a serum. It feels really nice and hydrating. It's seeping into my skin. There's no smell to it. As it's drying down, it feels like it's gonna give that like mattifying look. But this also feels like it would grip and stick to your makeup. So if you're applying makeup over top, I feel like it would stick really nicely to this and work really well. So I can't wait to try that primer out. The next product in here is the Persona Cosmetics lip liner line define and shape your lips with this creamy and blendable lip liner formulated with jojoba oil and hydrogenated cottonseed oil for an effortless glide on application to help create the perfect canvas for long lasting lip color cruelty free paraben free and vegan and it retails for $14 for a premium box getting a $14 lip liner I wish it was more expensive I don't like that it comes in this plastic bag guys like I understand if you're selling it in a store and you don't want people to like open it and use it all the time. But I do feel like this is excess packaging. We're gonna go in and test the lip liner out. Really pretty color. Okay, I'm gonna apply this to my lip. Sorry guys, I don't really have any makeup on, so this might look a little strange. Maybe I'll go ahead and do a little bit of concealing real quick. The formula feels really soft. It's just gliding on. And I like this color. It's like a mauve nude, like for any day wear, daytime, nighttime. One thing though, we've been getting lots of lip liners. I wish we would get like a few less lip products only because everybody's wearing masks at least i am i feel like we don't get to show off our pretty lips anymore at least not as much as we used to Downside about this is if I put my lips together, my lips do feel a little bit dry, but I really like the color payoff. It's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my lip oil on top just 
just to add a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna really quick use a little concealer on a few spots and I will be right back. This lip color is definitely very bold. Today's video shout out word is bamboo. If you comment bamboo down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. We're gonna move on to our last item. I'm so excited to see this. It is a eyeshadow palette. I feel like we haven't gotten eyeshadow palette too much lately, so I'm so excited. This is by Atter Beauty Desert Sunset Palette. 10 shades in ultra matte, shimmer, duo chrome, and metallic finishes to create gorgeous glowing looks. Crystal charged pigment infused in amber powder helps to improve your glow by illuminating the skin with its light reflective properties. Formulated with organic coconut oil, shea butter, prickly pear seed oil, and moringa seed oil. It is also a new launch, so excited to get this. And it retails for $48. Ooh, what is this? We got a unicorn. Listen to your dreams. They are orphic and penetrating and more meaningful than you can imagine. By Adder Beauty in collaboration with Cosmic College. I wonder if everybody got the same one or if it's different for everybody. Let me know if you guys got this palette and got something different. Here is what it looks like. And I love this. It's like 3D. It sticks up a little bit. So that's really cool. Oh, okay guys. When you go to open this palette, don't try to open it from here. You have to actually open the whole front part. Be careful with that. I pulled it up a little bit. Oh, well, here's the palette though. There's no mirror in it. It says, we have removed the mirror and magnets inside to be more sustainable. We strive to make the best sustainable choices on all of our products. Honestly, guys, I never use these mirrors anyway, so I'm happy to not see that, that they're being better for the environment. I know some people thrive off of using these mirrors. I personally don't use them ever, so I'm okay with it. But if it helps the environment, I am all for it. And it does say that this palette is fully recyclable. Don't forget to recycle this palette when you finish it, guys. There are all of the pretty shades and I'll swatch a few for you guys. Maybe I'll do a little look with this today. Sorry guys, I don't really feel like going full glam right now with my face done and everything, but if I do an eye look, maybe I'll just go ahead and do it. Here's a few of the swatches. Maybe I will do a quick smoky eye. Somebody commented in my last video saying, I wish to try them on. I'm sorry guys. Sometimes I film live tutorials doing makeup at least five times a week. Plus I do it like going to work. I feel like I do my makeup so much. So sometimes I get lazy and when I get these boxes to unbox, <laughs> sometimes I just swatch or show you guys the products instead of trying every single thing on. But I'm gonna try to get better about that. So let me know down below if you guys wanna see me trying more of the stuff on. I know like that's what I should be doing, but your girl gets a little lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this shade right here and apply this to the inner corner. I'm gonna go in next with this shade right here. They're not labeled by the way, guys, the shade names. And I'm just gonna work this into the crease. I am getting a lot of fallout on here, but really pretty shades. And then I'm gonna go ahead and darken it up a little bit with this shade. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of mascara. Like I said, sorry guys, I don't wanna do a full face right now. So I'm gonna skip the bronzer and blush and powder and everything else. And just do a, a light glam look, a half face instead of a full face. I've also been trying to wear a little bit less makeup on my face and it has been clearing up my skin. I've been doing it for almost a year now and it's been helping a lot. I'm just trying to let my skin breathe and and do its own thing. All right, so that is the look with mascara on. What did you guys think of all of these products? Let me know down below your thoughts. Honestly, guys, I'm so happy with this box. I'm really genuinely excited excited to use these products and I can't wait for my base box to get here. I filmed my base PR box so check that out if you guys missed it. The total retail value of this box is $175. My base box was worth $160. So 
the base and premium are only like $15 off this month. For me, personally, not too big of a difference between the two. I like all of these products. I'm super excited about every single one. And let me know what you guys thought. And what did you guys pick as your choice items? Or what variety did you guys get in your box? If you guys already received them. Or what are you hoping to get? Today's video shout out goes out to Z-Link TikToks. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have it, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.